What Sydney McLaughlin just did with Dalila Muhammad changes everything. On many occasions, Dalila Muhammad has given media interviews to discuss the preparations she is doing for the 2022 World Athletics Championship. The competition will begin on July 18 of that year, and it will last for a total of nine days. In 2022, Muhammad will defend her title at the World Athletics Championship. Since she will be doing so, she will be entitled to automatic entrance into the competition. She will be competing against another American athlete who goes by the name of Sydney McLaughlin. She is someone who is commonly compared to her, and they will be competing against each other. In response to Sydney McLaughlin, Dalila Muhammad says, Dalila Muhammad was able to dominate the field in the 400-meter hurdles competition at the 2016 Olympic Games held in Rio de Janeiro. She was awarded the gold medal for her performance. Due to the fact that she did not execute to the level required, the Summer Olympics in Tokyo in 2020 awarded her the silver medal instead of the gold. In response to Sydney McLaughlin, Dalila Muhammad says, Dalila Muhammad was able to dominate the field in the 400-meter hurdles competition at the 2016 Olympic Games held in Rio de Janeiro. She was awarded the gold medal for her performance. Due to the fact that she did not execute to the level required, the Summer Olympics in Tokyo in 2020 awarded her the silver medal instead of the gold. Sydney McLaughlin won the 400-meter hurdles competition at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020 by setting a new world record of 51.46 seconds, which also destroyed her previous record. She finished the race in 51 seconds, which was a personal best for Dalila Muhammad. Nonetheless, she came in second place behind McLaughlin, who won the Olympic gold medal. Muhammad took the silver medal in the 2013 and 2017 iterations of the same tournament. On the other hand, Muhammad was victorious at the 2019 EAAF World Athletics Championships, taking home the gold medal. During an interview with Reuters, she discussed the injuries that prevented her from competing in the USA Outdoor Championships in 2022. The competition was held in 2022. What exactly did she say in that sentence? She said that she decided not to compete with a hamstring injury since the United States Championships were only two weeks away, and she did not want to risk making the problem worse. Although her condition was not very severe, she chose not to participate in the game because it just didn't make sense to sort of risk getting out there and kind of re-injuring it and retweaking it. The athlete who triumphed at the Olympic Games held in Rio de Janeiro in 2016 and took home the gold medal said it was inspiring to see two women from the same country competing at such a high level. She specifically named Sydney McLaughlin as one of those women. What exactly did she say in that sentence? It comes as a shock to learn that two other ladies in the same nation can run at the same speed that they have achieved. It is incredible to watch the same two people competing in the same events simultaneously and performing so well in both. She went on to say that the two of them are both motivated perfectionists who are utterly captivated by one another and have nothing but admiration for one another. One of their top priorities as a group is to strive for excellence in everything they do. It is evident that the goal people and she have in mind for this competition is the same. Before a race, they don't talk to each other that much. But as soon as it's finished, it's all love between them. Muhammad, McLaughlin, Athing Mew, and Alison Felix were victorious in the women's 4x400 meter relay competition in the Olympics held in Tokyo the year before. The gold medal was awarded to them as a result of this triumph. It was expected that the women's 400 meter hurdles final would be the competition in which a new world record would be set. And that is precisely what happened, as reigning Olympic champion Sydney McLaughlin surged past silver medalist Dailam Muhammad and bronze medalist Fenk Bol of the Netherlands to win in a time of 51.47 seconds, which was 43 hundredths of a second quicker than her previous world record. Since 2019, whenever Muhammad and McLaughlin have faced off against one another in a major competition, one of them has gone on to break the world record in that particular event. Muhammad accomplished this feat at the World Championships in Dota in 2019 with a time of 52.16, which was three months faster than her previous record from the 2019 US National Championships. This took place in June of this past year at the Olympic Trials in Eugene, Oregon. McLaughlin did while sitting on the track in astonishment and with her hands over her mouth. McLaughlin, the youngest American track athlete, competing in Rio at 17, did not get past the semifinals, while Muhammad, who was 10 years older, won gold. The Olympics were held in Rio de Janeiro. Both competitors came into this final, with timings ranked in the top two. 
This was McLaughlin's first time competing in an Olympic final, and she will turn 22 years old this coming Saturday. There were uncertainties, but the viciousness of their confrontation dispelled any doubts. Muhammad, now 31 years old, has been diagnosed with COVID-19 times this year and has been working through a hamstring injury. So it was coming, Muhammad said after breaking McLaughlin's record in the Olympic trials, but if women agree that having the other has helped them achieve new heights. She did, and the way she competed on the track significantly impacted how history would unfold in the future. Edwin Moses, an American sprinter who won two gold medals at the Olympics in the 400-meter hurdles and dominated the event for more than a decade between 1977 and 1987, expressed to the Associated Press that she wished she had a rivalry similar to the one that existed between John Clovelin and Muhammad. Moses won the 400-meter hurdles event for more than a decade between 1977 and 1987. Between those years, she won two gold medals at the Olympics. Muhammad and McLaren are frequently recognized as two of the most accomplished athletes in history. McLaren spent the morning watching the film Moses to better prepare herself for the 400-meter hurdles, which is a sport that requires speed, endurance, and precise hurdling technique. McLaren is competing in the 400-meter hurdles. Because of this, she improved his preparation for the competition. The race consisted of one circuit around the track, and each of the 10 hurdles in the competition was two feet and a half in height. The hurdles were spaced out evenly around the circuit. In spite of the fact that it would take her 15 steps to complete the task, she set a goal for herself to replicate her performance by taking 13 steps in between each hurdle. She also avoided the impulse to switch legs as she was performing the hurdles, which is a practice that wastes important meliscans. She raced in many sprint hurdle races to be ready for the Olympic trials, but she only ran the 400-meter event once between Doha and the trials. Doha was her last competition before the trials. In the year in which she was not competing, Muhammad too worked hard to improve her technique. To keep her energy levels up, she planned to spend a shorter amount of time in the air than most of her rivals. The timing of her steps to the first hurdle is perfect because she leaps over the hurdles using her right leg and then launches herself out of the blocks using her left leg. Anna Cockrell, a third American, had the opportunity to compete in the final, but she ended up being disqualified for stepping on a lane line. In the tournament's history, Boll is the first woman from the Netherlands to win a medal. After Muhammad seized the early and ongoing lead around the turn, McLaughlin overtook Muhammad and the other competitor at the halfway stage and went on to win the race after Muhammad took the lead. In contrast to Muhammad, McLaughlin will continue to participate in the Olympics for at least a few more cycles. However, it is almost certain that Muhammad's time spent competing in the Olympics is over. In post-race interviews with NBC, both ladies expressed their support and gratitude for each other, highlighting a dynamic seen frequently at these games. Fierce competition between competitors who are not quite friends but have a clear mutual respect for each other. This dynamic has been witnessed frequently at these games. And as a result of this competition, they were given the opportunity to witness an ageless race, which made it plainly evident that if future competitors in the 400-meter hurdle race want to win, they will need to have a greater amount of experience under their belts. With that, we have come to the end of our video. We hope you had a great time learning about what went down with these two great athletes. Stay tuned to our channel to receive new updates about upcoming videos. See you super soon.